Hey everybody, it's Eric from TurboSound and welcome to Music Studios. I have here with me an IQ12 because I wanted to tell you about our new firmware update for all the IQ series and AN module powered TurboSound speakers. All right, so I'm also gonna show you how to get it updated onto the speaker itself. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to go ahead and retrieve the firmware update, just go ahead and go to turbosound.com and click on any of the series that are corresponding to the firmware update and go to downloads and click download and get it onto your PC computer. Once that's done, make sure you come over to a unpowered speaker. Now I've turned my IQ12 off here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to my DSP module and hold down the setup button. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the speaker on. Okay, now in the LCD screen here, you should see TurboSound USB updater waiting for update. My next step is now to connect my computer via USB to the USB port on the back of the module. Okay, so once that's done, I can come over here to my PC and go ahead and execute the program. All right, now my speaker is now reading the firmware update and it's now loading and it should be done in just a moment. Okay, so now it's finished updating with the firmware here. I can go ahead and remove my USB cable. Now, just to be sure, I wanna go ahead and hit the setup button here. And I'm gonna cycle all the way over to the right. Now, as you can see, it says version 1.9 all the way over to the right on the LCD screen, and we're good to go. Now, also in this video, I wanted to show you how to open up your DSP checker, because it's very similar on opening up the USB updater. So let's go ahead and do that now. First, we're gonna go ahead and turn the speaker off and come up here to the process button on my DSP module and hold it down. Now I'm gonna turn the speaker back on. And there we have it, it says check buttons. Now this is gonna basically check the functionality of all the buttons on the DSP module here. So just check the boxes, make sure that the boxes turn white as you're pressing them in. And looks like they're good to go. Now it's asking me to turn the encoder left and right. Right, okay, so the encoder checks out. Now it says check LCD screen, press any button, and it displays this type of screen. So now we can actually look at the LCD screen, see if there's any pixels that are missing or not working properly. And there you have it. We just go ahead and hit a couple more buttons, and now it's gonna take us back to our main menu. There we go. And that's just how easy it is to go ahead and get your firmware updated on your IQ speakers, as well as opening up your DSP checker. Now for more in-depth tech specs and media, visit turbosound.com. I'm Eric, thanks for joining me here at Music Studios. See you next time.